All right, guys, let's watch this clip from a movie and then talk about it at the end. You've done so well for yourself, and I'm proud of you. I can't date you. Why? I'm not sexually attracted to you. We sense we grew up together, so you're like a brother to me. I'm really sorry. So you did tell me like this, it was where you don't friends with me. She said we're like brother and sister. Who? That's crazy. She said she's not sexually attracted to me because we grew up together. She can never be sexually attracted to me. Bullshit. Total nonsense. Bro. So what did you tell her? Forget this game. I see now. Just said this game. Woman, I look at you. Listen, come on. Forget this girl. For who's Miriam to have said that nonsense to you? She's not the wife material, okay? No, no, don't say that. Let's be fair. Let's be fair. Be nice. So today we're going to talk about friend zoning. As you can see, the guy got friend zoned. And of course, his friend was mocking him. As you can see in the movie, she told him pump and plain that they are just friends. However, Many people do not open up like that. Many people might ride you along. So here are five ways for you to know that you have been already friend zoned before you even get to ask them out. First of all, for those that don't know, friend zoning is when somebody sees you purely as a friend, although you might have romantic feelings for that person. When they see you purely as a friend, nothing else, just friends. Hey, Oga, madam, you have been friend zoned. Now, I'm going to let you guys in on five ways to know that whoever that you are dealing with, that you thought you had something building with, that the person has friend zoned you already. Number one, if they seem extremely comfortable around you, they can tell you anything, they don't care what they say, they just talk it, you know, whether it sounds good, whether it's clean, dirty, they just talk. Yeah, there's a chance that you have been friend zoned. Number two, when they tell you about people they like, you know, it might look like they're, you know, just talking, but, you know, when they start telling you about people that they like, you know, they have a crush on, you know, that they wish that this person will respond to them, that they try to reach out to that person, what do you think, what approach she used or he used to get to this person? Oh, God, madam, you have been friend zoned. You have been friend zoned already. Number three. When they treat you as a shoulder to lean on, when you become that person that they come and tell anything, you know, they, you know, their dirty linens, they, they spill everything, they want your advice, they want your support, they want your help, you know, help me with this, help me with that, you know, come pick me up from there, come take me there, you know, I need money for this, can you help me with that, you know, and you know, they really don't care what they ask you for, they just ask you for it because you are there and you are available to help. There's a big chance that you have been friend zoned already. Number four, when they never really do what you want, like you can ask them, let's go do this and they'll be busy. They have something else they planned. You know, they really, really don't want to go out to chew, but you know, you might blink and then they really went out with their friends. Yet they told you that they really don't feel like going out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You've been friend zoned. And number five, the Ogapata part of them all, is when they try to set you up with somebody else. Be it their friend, be it their cousin, their relative, somebody they met at school. Once they start trying to set you up with somebody else, <laughs> even yourself would know that you have been friend zoned. So guys, can you come out of a friend zone? Yes, you can. And I'm, you know, as hard as it might be, the first and the biggest thing that you need to do if you want to come out of a friend zone is to set boundaries. There's a bunch of things that you do when you think you're trying to impress somebody, but in essence, they're just using you to get through to what they want. Set those boundaries. Stop being that person that they call to tell every rubbish. Watch how you are the leaning shoulder. If you are the one that's leaning on them too, you need to stop it too. But watch how you are their shoulder to lean on. You got to set those boundaries and let them understand that, you know, is this really appropriate to tell me? And then maybe you might start changing the narrative a little bit. You know, if you guys get to go out, take them to maybe places that are meant for romantic couples. 
So maybe she might start getting the idea. Now, these things are not proven fact because usually when somebody tells you koro koro that you have been friend zoned, <laughs> they have already thought about it. So, but finally, at the end of the day, sometimes it's good for somebody to let you know that you've been friend zoned. So you really don't waste your time and your effort and your resources trying to impress them. Move on, find the next person. Find that next person that gladdens your heart. They're out there. It might be hard to get, but they're out there. Guys, if you like content like this, please subscribe. Like, subscribe, share, but please subscribe. If you don't like it too, I beg, subscribe too. Because one day, I will talk about an issue that you will like. And you will be glad that you're here. This is CJ from McNary Studios, and I'm here to deliver sense.